Well, so I have some interesting information for you guys. Uh, the best way to know if you are right about something is to see actual confirmation about it. Uh, so obviously I'm not the first one to have uh, come up with the idea of this uh, Metatron's cube. However, uh, the guy that I see here didn't actually use Metatron's cube, but he's using something that looks very, very close to it. Let me show you. This guy, uh, Robert John Langdon, uh, this is in his second book of the trilogy, Prehistoric Britain, to be published in October uh, 2014. Okay, so he goes into how this place was built, and then he has some diagrams, and they may look a little bit familiar to you in the placement of them as well which means I am right on the money about what's going on. So take a look right here. Does that look familiar? Looks very similar to what I was showing you. Uh, in fact, well, it's very similar. The only difference is, is that uh, it looks like he hasn't got the cube part there, uh, that he hasn't connected Metatron's cube to this, but he is showing the nested hexagram uh, which I also showed you in almost the exact same layout. He just doesn't have a medium sized one, but he does have the small one. Uh, and the configuration looks uh, almost exactly the same. So he's missing the medium one here, and that may be, uh, that might have something to do with uh, some things in here. But uh, the bottom line is, is that this type of thing, uh, when you see it, and he goes into, like another thing that I mentioned, he says that uh, the length of the diameter is exactly 360 feet. That's something that I also noticed as well. So all these to me, these are all things that are confirming um, because I haven't spent as much time finding out what the other people have done on this out there. However, knowing that uh, I'm seeing the same kind of thing is very reassuring. It means that whatever my intuition was regarding this kind of stuff is correct. Now I'm not sure uh, if he has anything about these 56 uh, Aubrey holes around the outside showing that they are basically extensions and uh, of the very center. So if you take this cube for example and you bring it down two octaves, the size of the circles in that cube, if you extend those out, you can get you get 56 all the way around, right? So if my circle is uh, uh, whatever it is, if it's uh, a six or something like that, and I scale this down, uh, by the time I get to the third octave and I stretch these all the way out, if, I'm, if they go all the way around, I get an, uh, exactly a number of 56, not 57. Um, 55 is leaves too much of a gap between the circles, but 56 is right on the money. Uh, he goes into the fact why the English foot and all this kind of stuff, and the reason why is because it's all about circles. Now, I'm sure that's probably what he's mentioned in here. I'm, I'm only guessing. I don't know uh, what he's actually going into in there, but uh, it seems pretty obvious to me that the, the whole English foot uh, and the whole idea about 12 and 6 and everything like this, it's all based on circles. Because if you pack circles together, like I was showing you with circle packing, uh, you have one, and then you have six, and you can fit 12 around those six, and you have 24, and then you have 30. And these are all numbers that we use for uh, calendars and time and stuff. So anyways, I just wanted to show you this site real quick, uh, just to show you I'm not the first one to get this idea, this type of layout going on here. Uh, the only thing I'm not seeing so far in this is that uh, he's relating it specifically to Metatron's cube. However, he is getting the uh, the basic configuration. In fact, the layout is almost exactly the way I had it I was on here. So this is very reassuring for me. So anyways, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. You guys take care and I'll talk to you soon.